Given a picture of California, you're going to roughly cut it out. Um, you don't need to worry about the, the words because those aren't going to actually make it into a final um, pop-up piece, at least on the pop-up piece. Um, and you're going to take this and put it on a piece of cardstock. Once again, we're trying to be mindful of our resources. So if you've kind of organized your stuff well, you can actually fit it onto the same page as your Pangea. So I'm going to glue it on. And once again, we'll do the fine cutting around the state after we've glued it on. We don't need to do that in the first piece because otherwise we're going to do all that fine cutting twice and that's kind of a waste of time. Um, so just kind of finding a place where it fits on there. Okay, and then once it glues on, once it's on there, then I can cut it out really nicely. Nice job of cutting out California. Okay, so here you're doing your fine cutting. Okay, so California has been cut out at this point. So the next thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to create the tabs so that we can actually uh, put a tab here and a tab. We'll eventually cut along the line, but let's not do that now because we don't want to lose any little pieces. In fact, it's not really even a bad idea to flip the thing over and then write your initials um, on the back should you lose that little piece of paper. Okay, so um, what we're going to do next is we're going to make um, three pieces of paper. The first one, and I'm going to use my um, Pangea sheet because I still have some cardstock here. The first one is going to be two centimeters in height. So once again, I'm going to put a mark on one place and another mark. Sorry, I can't see this. So two centimeters up, make a mark. Once again, you're doing this in pencil. Two centimeters up another place, making a line. Okay. And then the next one we're going to make is going to be um, one centimeter up. So I'm going to and I'm going to make two of them. So I'm just going to go up two more times. And you could have done this all in the first the first time as well. So these small ones are going to be actually for the um, the smaller piece of California when we cut it out. Oopsie daisy, my, my thing moved. Okay, so we're going to take it and we are going to cut these strips. And they're all going to be, um, when we finish, we're going to make them all 12 centimeters long. There's the extra paper on. Um, you can remove it or make sure it's glued on properly. Once again, this is not going to be seen, so it doesn't matter if it's not all that pretty in terms of your ripping capacity there. Um, actually, the part that's the pull tab will be seen, so you do need to be careful about that. So I might use my cleaner piece for the pull tab. Now, once again, each of these pieces needs to be 12 centimeters long. So I'm going to measure 12 centimeters. Um, 12 centimeters, 12 centimeters. And uh, one of the, the thinner pieces, I'm also going to mark it at six centimeters because I'm going to cut one of those in half. So when you're done, you're going to have these pieces. And it's a really good idea because we're getting lots of little pieces to take these extras and stick them in your Ziploc bag so that you don't lose them. In fact, it's probably a good idea to have kept the California plate, sorry, I keep saying California plate, the California um, piece in your Ziploc until you're ready to use it. So I've got my three pieces and the next thing we're going to do is actually uh, attach the tab. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our San Andreas um, fault and we're going to just snip along it and we're going to create tabs to show the transform boundary. I'm sorry, the transform fault. So I'm going to take my things and remember that we had that one of the thinner strips. We made it so it's uh, six centimeters long. And on the northern part of the Pacific um, plate, so here's the part of California that's on the Pacific plate, we're going to put a we're going to put this on a piece of paper. So we're going to kind of glue that on. So this is going to be like our pull tab to show the transform boundary. Okay, and then on um, the southern part of the north 
uh, American plate. We're going to put another pull tab here. So I'm going to glue that on and stick it underneath. Okay, once again, hold so that the glue um, contacts well. So eventually what will happen is these will be raised up in our pop-up book and then we'll be able to pull these little tabs. Okay, so here's the state of California. We'll be able to pull these little tabs and show how these two um, slide past each other. So showing the transform uh, fault. Okay, so we'll basically be able to pull them and showing that. Okay, so then we'll do the next thing. So what we're going to do, so once again, watch first. So we're going to have the legs, and it's going to be, we're going to measure, I'm going to measure two and four from the top. And I'm going to measure two and four from the bottom. Just if you could wait until I finish it. So once again, I want you to wait until after I finish it. So I'm going to take my ruler. Once again, remember that nice technique of getting even edges. And I'm going to do it on the other side. Two. Okay. And so now I'm going to have this little kind of this little kind of rectangle, and this little rectangle is going to go under out of my two pieces. It's going to go under the thicker part of California. Now the important thing. So right now we're not going to glue anything, but you're going to make this. And once again, you're measuring at two and four. Okay, if we want to do it all at the same time, it'll be two, four, eight, and ten. Okay, so at two, four, eight, and ten, you're going to do it, and you're going to do the same thing on the smaller piece as well. Two, four, eight, and ten. So two, four, eight, and ten, and then bend. Fold and crease, fold and crease, fold and crease. So I'm taking the thinner of the two strips, the one centimeter strip. Um, this op more open piece is going to be on the bottom. So I'm going to first kind of take my glue stick and I'm going to Make sure that there's a little bit of glue here. Sorry, I'm putting glue on the bottom and just having a little bit of overlap because I know that those two are going to touch. I'm going to put glue on the top because that's where my California piece is going to reside on top of that, the western piece. Okay, so don't do this with me. Just wait, please. Don't do anything with me. Just wait. So I've got this. I'm going to put it down. I'm going to hold it for like five seconds. So five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so I can see this piece here has got a little bit of fluidity. Now I'm going to take my second piece, the San Andreas fault. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take my two centimeter strip. Okay, I'm going to put glue on the bottom feet. I'm going to put glue on the top piece. I'm going to kind of make sure this is matched up, okay? So I'm going to match it up first. I'm going to put this underneath. And once again, everything needs to be kind of parallel. So that's the kind of thing to make stuff move, is that everything should be kind of lined up so it's parallel. This looks like it needs to go up a little higher. And then I'm going to, down below, you can't see it, but my fingers are down below, and I'm going to hold it for five seconds in place. And then you can see here's how we show the San Andreas strike slip fault. 